Hello, it is Foundation Friday, September 30th, 2022, the end of the third quarter of the year and the third straight quarter, undoubtedly, that uh, I guess they'll come out with a number soon of uh, receding economy here in the U.S. Third straight quarter of recession will now the government, the media, officially call it a recession since we've been in recession for now three straight quarters, nine straight months of the year. Everybody knows it. Give me a break. Anyway, end of the third quarter. Hopefully, you're on track for your fourth quarter to be a big finish of the year. And speaking of big finish, uh, we are going to, well, we're not going to finish. So we're not speaking of a finish. We barely just started the current chapter we're in in the fantastic foundational book, The Magic of Thinking Big, by Dr. David J. Schwartz. We are in the chapter about thinking right toward people. And we ended off uh, last time talking about how smart and how uh, strategic it is to be likable, to like people. And so here, Dr. Schwartz is sharing with us the fact that successful people follow a plan for liking people. And then he asked, do you? People who reach the top do not discuss much their techniques for thinking right toward people, but you'd be surprised how many really big people have a clear, definite, even written plan for liking people, which I did not when I first read this book. In fact, as you, if you're following along with this series, you know that I didn't pretty much have anything uh, when I read this book, but upon reading this book, I decided, hmm, that's a smart thing to do, and I started by following uh, the plan we're going to uh, share right here. So, uh, consider the case. This is, as uh, Dr. Schwartz says, President Lyndon Johnson. Now, I know this book was written in 1959, so I was like, how can it say President Lyndon Johnson? I mean, this guy was a, a lifelong consummate politician, uh, wheeler, dealer, you know, uh, just Mr. Big Time Politician. I know he started in the Congress for like, I don't know, eight or 10 years or something. Then he went into the Senate for two, three terms. He became the majority leader of the Senate. Then he became vice president. And then when John F. Kennedy was assassinated, he became the president. A couple of years later, he won election for his own term as president. And then he famously, surprisingly announced in 1968, uh, the year of uh, the next election, that I will not run they said something like, I will not run and I will not accept the nomination of my party for president 1960 of 68 and he bowed out. But uh, that was like a lifelong career as a politician, right? So this guy knew how to like people, how to be liked by people. But I was surprised when Dr. Schwartz called him President Lyndon Johnson. So I looked back to the uh, whatever it's called, the, uh, the page in the front of the book, which tells you the copyright. There was a second edition, so it was written in 59, and then it was updated in 1965, at which point Lyndon Johnson was, in fact, President of the United States. And we will disregard the fact that he did a whole ton of damage in his time as president, um, and we'll focus on the fact that he was immensely popular and liked, and he attributed a lot of that, and Dr. Schwartz does as well, to his plan, his clear, definite, and written plan for liking people. And so here is what Lyndon Baines Johnson, LBJ, said. Uh, as Schwartz points out, long before he became president, Johnson developed his amazing power of personal persuasion and developed his own 10-point formula for success. These rules, which even a casual observer of Johnson can see, are practiced in everything he does. And here is the direct quote of the 10 rules for success by LBJ, President Lyndon Bain Johnson. Number one, learn to remember names. Inefficiency at this point may indicate that your interest is not sufficiently outgoing. In other words, if you don't take the time and care to remember someone's name, they just think you don't care about them. Number two, be a comfortable person so there is no strain in being with you. Be an old shoe, old hat kind of individual. Salt of the earth, down to earth, all that kind of stuff. That was LBJ. Number three, Acquire the quality of relaxed, easygoing, so that things do not ruffle you. We've talked about that before, as Dr. Schwartz points out. Uh, people are defined by the size of the problem it takes to bother you. Big people are only bothered by big things. Little people are bothered by little things. That's what Johnson is saying here. Be relaxed and easygoing, 
so things just don't ruffle you. Number four, don't be egotistical. Guard against the impression that you know it all. Number five, cultivate the quality of being interesting so people will get something of value from their association with you. Number six, study to get the scratchy elements out of your personality, even those of which you may be unconscious. Clearly, I am still lacking there, even though I first read this book, I don't know, 40 years ago or so, and I've read it over and over. Anyone that knows me knows I still have some scratchy elements in my personality. So there's number six to work on for me. Number seven, sincerely attempt to heal on an honest Christian basis, every misunderstanding you have had or now have, drain off your grievances. Number seven. Uh, that was number seven. Number eight. Practice liking people until you do so genuinely. That is known as fake it till you make it. So practice liking people until you genuinely actually like people. Number nine. Never miss an opportunity. This comes up on social media for me all the time, at least. I don't know what the algorithm is showing you on Facebook here I'm talking about where Johnson says, never miss an opportunity to say a word of congratulation upon anyone's achievement or express sympathy and sorrow or disappointment. So that's what comes through in my feed a lot is happy birthday, happy anniversary, uh, you know, graduation of uh, son or daughter or grandson or someone in the family, births, marriages, all that kind of big life um, achievements and milestones. And so I never want to miss the opportunity to say a word of congratulation at least click on the like button, but put a comment in there, way to go, congratulations, happy anniversary, happy birthday, all that kind of stuff. And every day I say happy birthday, Facebook gives a notification, everyone's birthday. I think I'm connected to about 1,500 people or so, 365 days a year. That's probably an average of four or five people a day have a birthday and I don't miss a day unless I make a mistake and I forget to, uh, but then I can go back the next day uh, to say congratulations, say happy birthday, right? Smart thing to do. And then the other, type of posts that I see all the time are the ones where you don't want to miss the opportunity to express sympathy in sorrow or disappointment. So there's a death in the family or an illness or please pray for me, we're going over this or my daughter that or my dog died or my cat died or whatever it is. And very easy to scroll right by it. And I'm like, I hardly know that person or this. And I'm like, hang on, scroll back up. I do not want to miss the opportunity to express sorrow uh, or sympathy in that sorrow or disappointment. Anyway, Wrap it up with number 10 of Lyndon Bain Johnson's 10-point formula for success. Point number 10, give spiritual strength to people and they will give genuine affection to you. Dr. Schwartz points out that living these 10 simple but tremendously powerful like people rules makes President Johnson easier to vote for, easier to support in Congress, Living these 10 rules makes President Johnson easier to lift. We spoke about that last time, that people are lifted up by others to success. Make yourself easy to lift. And uh, I do remember when Johnson was elected after um, Kennedy was assassinated, it was, I think at the time, was the largest margin of victory in the popular vote ever. A huge landslide win, so clearly he was easy to vote for and easy to lift. And we finish it off with Dr. Schwartz's suggestion to reread these rules again. You might want to reread this, re-listen to it, re-watch it. Notice that there's no get-even philosophy here. There's no let the other fellow come to me to patch up differences. There's no I know it all, other people are stupid. Big people, those on top in industry, the arts, sciences, politics, they're human, they're warm, they specialize being likable, and that'll do it. For this edition of Foundation Friday, another in our multi-part series on the fantastic foundational book, The Magic of Thinking Big, by Dr. David J. Schwartz. By now, hopefully you've gone out and got your own copy. If not, or even if you have, hope you'll join me again next Foundation Friday as we will continue in, I believe it's chapter eight, Think Right Toward People. That'll do it for today. Thanks for being here live. Thanks for watching on the replay. I will catch you back here again tomorrow on Social Media Saturday. Over and out for now. Bye-bye.